Welcome to God Level. Your access has been granted. Mic check, mic check, one, two, one, two. It's Mark Allen back at you with another God Level reaction. Another one. And this is actually the second take. I did a whole take, didn't record it. So without further ado, I'm just going to jump right into it. I'm a little bit pissed right now, but let's let's get into it. Hey, right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. She's going to be attractive, guys. Hello, Don't worry about it. welcome in. What's your name? Hi, my name is Shancia. Shancia, how old yes, are you? I'm 32 years old. And what do you do? I work in public health. Okay. So real quick, I said this during my last recording, and I'm going to say this again. I don't think she's dressed to find love. She is fine, even though I like natural hair. She is fine, but she got the ass out and she got the tits out. So I don't feel she's dressed to find love. She's dressed to go to the club. Let's get it. Okay, very yes. nice. What are some things you like to do for fun? I love to do anything with an experience. I'm an open person. I've gone skydiving. Ooh. I like to try new restaurants. Um, I like to hang out with my friends, my family. I like arts. I like to try a little bit of everything. Okay. Yeah. Now, what are some things you look for in a man? I look for someone who's romantic, someone who knows how to do for themselves, mm. someone okay. who's a self-starter, someone who's God-fearing, mm -hmm. someone who's caring, um, and someone who knows how to balance life in general, knows how to balance their emotions and also know how to balance their logic. Okay. Now, what are some deal breakers? Deal breakers. Um, cheating is a deal breaker. Mm. I feel like that is a right. choice. Yeah. So if you cheat, that that's a deal breaker. That's a no for me. You're out of here. Bye-bye. Yeah, <laughs> lying. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Lying is also a deal breaker. Mm -hmm. I'm a straightforward person, and I would like for other people to be straightforward and honest as well. Okay. So if you're not, that's a deal breaker. Okay. Got okay. it. So we haven't got any pop balloons yet. Yeah. Of course so not. So I'm going to switch it on over to you. So let me hand you a pick. Okay. Hold Thank on to you. that. And I am going to have you pop two balloons based off of what you're seeing, whoever's not really your type, whatever it is. Go ahead and pop two. Okay. Can I like walk? Of course, yeah. Go ahead. Take, take a good look. I pretty much know who she's going <laughs> to pop, so I'm not going to really ruin it. She got the walk. She definitely practiced that walk. <laughs> okay, and then one more. Notice how homie is looking. He is looking. He got his eye on the prize. He's ready to go. He ready to take it down. I don't want to be a player no more. Since we're here, we'll start over here. Yeah. Your name and age. Ontario, Definitely 35. a dragon wagon. In Ontario, why'd you have your balloon unpopped? Oh, I found it very attractive. I like, like, big chesticles. <laughs> <laughs> and curvy women, so that works for me. I was good. Right. So, why did we end up popping his? I pop his because he has a coat on. You know, we're inside, indoors. You know, it's appropriate. <laughs> Different things for where you're at, you know. <laughs> So she does understand the need to dress appropriate for the occasion, yet you're looking for love and you're showing this cleavage and you're showing that ass. I don't want my wife or my potential wife's body on display for all to see. Message! That can cause problems. It's, it's just the color. It's just the style, yeah. <laughs> but he's handsome, yeah. You're attractive. Right, yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and then you popped one more down there. Let's head over there. All right. Your name and age, and why did you have your balloon unpopped? Castro, 34. Mm -hmm. And why was your balloon unpopped? Uh, I mean, she's cool. She, I mean, I, I was looking at her. She, she, she looked nice, you know. Okay. It's fine. Thank I you. really see too many, too many things I can complain about her, you know. Right. Make a reason to really pop it. I was just listening. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And why did we end up popping his? too flashy um i'm not a flashy person stop right there shut up 
Um, you but know, if flashing. you make money, that's fine and all. I just wouldn't want other people to know. Right. You just never know other people's intention. And yeah. if you're flashy, you just never know what you're bringing on. Sure. That's all. Thank you, thank you. I mean, as a man, you know, um, my job is to uh, provide and protect, you know. So even though if a man's flashy, but uh, can he make sure we okay? You know what I mean? Yeah. Regardless whether he's flashy or not, whatever he has. So uh, we can't drive a flashy car, nice car, because we, we got to worry about somebody trying to take something because they don't have it. But the thing is, can he protect you? Can yeah. he protect you when you in these streets when we's being it's flashy? Because regardless, sure. you're going to spend money wherever you go. So we got to look at, we at the lowest of the totem pole because we scared what somebody else think? No, I think not. My nigga. Chill. I'm right show then, out wherever sir. I go. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. I that's feel all. you. That's all. You showing sure up. You got that ass on them titties out. Oh, Thank you. Oh, my Lord. Okay, right. so Thank shit, you. why I can't have my chains off? Thank you got ass and titties out. <laughs> <laughs> shit. I mean, you can, you can have the chains out. I think for me. He has a point. He has a point. You have them ass and titties out. You're flashing. He's being flashy. So what's the difference? That can cause an altercation. Walking with your woman, she's she's dressed like that. You're walking past a group of dudes. Somebody going to say something. It's just I've had situations with guys that are very flashy and uh -huh. things would come about that no, I right, just though. don't want to be in a situation no, in. Yeah. So it's just if you're flashy, that's mm -hmm. fine for you, but... I don't want that for me. I understand. And you, you're absolutely right, though, because it has run things before past time, and you do have to correct it over time. And some people got to learn, you know, some people got a you know, hard head, and mm -hmm. you got to teach them. Thank you, know you sir. I mean? yeah. so, that ain't the one to play with. But, comes off. but <laughs> you, you do look good. I will thank say that. You're gorgeous, handsome. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Castro. All, right. All righty. We do have four guys left. Yes. Go ahead and ask these remaining guys a question. Okay, Please. so my first question is what does Durning dating with the purpose mean to you hey y'all come look at this mm, okay dating with a purpose start with your name and age and then the answer to your question i'm reynaldo i'm 38 dating with a purpose is basically dating with reason um a lot of people date for the wrong reasons i'm trying to date to marry In a long term. <laughs> yeah, I feel like he lying, yo. <laughs> so that's my dating with purpose. Okay. I like that answer. <laughs> name and age and the answer to your question. My name is Michael, I'm 32. And my answer to the question is basically basically dating to marry. Um, it's dating, but yeah, also dating for purpose. So, I mean, I'm dating to marry. I'm not, I'm 32. I'm getting up there. So I, I want to eventually get married, have kids and everything. What, the way he talks, he just like fumbles over his words, like the way he speaks. It's like it, it, it can come off as disingenuous or disingenuine and also as if you're just trying to say whatever it is that's going to get you in them in her jeans. Everything. So I want everything to be intentional and everything. So that's how I feel. OK, thank you. Name and age and answer to her question. My name is Demetrius and I'm 36. I uh, follow my, my brother right here. I'm all about intentionality. Uh, so every part of my life is about intentionality, right? Uh, my relationships with my friends, family, uh, coworkers, the business that I'm building. So um, same intention, right, to be married. Um, I'm, I'm only getting older, so I'm not here to, to waste time. Yeah. All right. all right. Name and age and answer to your question. Demetrius' answer seemed the most genuine. Let's, let's, get, let's, get, let's get to it. Amir, 35. Um, I'm here because I'm looking for a wife. Flew out from New York. Hopefully I can find one. You know, uh, I'm very intentional. I'm trying to find my peace. I'm trying to build a family. I'm trying to really invest in somebody who's really going to tap into me and just bring the best parts of me out. Got it. Thank you. Okay. Let's head on back, and it is time to pop a balloon. Just one? Just one. <laughs> All right, so Demetrius, why did you have your balloon unpop? Oh, she's gorgeous. Uh, speaks well. A mm -hmm. uh, little showing, but still conservative. Right. right? Like, it's still conservative enough. So, um, okay. yeah, and I like chocolate women. <laughs> Period. So, <laughs> now, why do we end up popping his? Uh, nothing too much. I dated someone named Demetrius before. Oh, yeah, no. And I good. don't go back. Yeah, we good. We good. Yeah. We good. Respectfully, yeah. I understand. 
Once you said that, it's like, now we're yeah. good. I don't even want you thinking but about me and yeah, exact, him. No, exactly. No, no, so nothing no. against you. Like, you're handsome Thanks. as well. And you look nice. I would say I like how you put your outfit together. Thank it's you. just the name. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. It's just the name. So you're willing to miss out on the potential love of your life, your potential future husband, your potential Prince Charming, because he has the same name as one of your exes. I don't know. That's just never been an issue with me. Like, there's still two different people. You can give him a nickname, call him something else. Okay, we've got three balloons left. Go ahead and ask these guys another question. So we're all here on a dating show. You're clearly wanting a woman in your life. So what does a woman, what value does a woman bring to your life? Oh God. Let's start down there and come back this way. All right, what value does a woman bring into your life? I feel like a, a woman can bring a lot of value. Uh, like I said, peace, joy, um, somebody who's really gonna make sure I'm on my P's and Q's, making sure that I'm on my job, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a workaholic, but I need someone who's gonna understand that, someone who's gonna build me up the same way I, I wanna build her up as well, you know yeah. what I mean? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking for a queen, nothing less. Okay, thank you. I feel like I agree with a lot of what he said, minus the peace and joy. I feel like you should be peaceful and she should be peaceful and you should both come together in this big ball of peace. You should be joyful, she should be joyful, and you should both share in that joy. Even though relationships, there's ebbs and flows, it's not gonna always be happy and joyful. But what I'm saying is you shouldn't depend on someone for your happiness, for your peace, if that makes sense. Ugh. All right, over here. What was the question again? What value does a woman bring to your life? Um, I wouldn't want a woman to bring peace. I like to come, I mean, I work a lot, so I like to come home and I have to deal with arguments <laughs> and nothing like that. But I just like to come home and maybe, you know, massage or maybe cook or anything, or we just do something together. So yeah, like I said, like he said, I'm looking for a queen also. I'm gonna empire the build. I want us to build together and see how far we can go. Like I said, I eventually want to get married and everything, so I want to He's just mainly peace. Okay. All over his own Thank words. You. He's falling over his and own words. And what value does like, a woman bring to your life? Talk too fast. Um, well, you need a woman, well, you need a woman to make a family. Mm -hmm. And so with that being said, family oriented, um, peace, like they said, of mm -hmm. course, a woman who could take accountability as well as mm -hmm. me and mm -hmm. um, just, my be, be my best friend. That's yeah. a good one. Okay. Yeah. All the answers are nice. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but it is time to pop a balloon. Yeah. Just one. All right. So, Ronaldo, why did we have our balloon unpopped for her? She fire. She beautiful. <laughs> um, she smells good. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. So, why did we end up popping his? Um, I think all of the answers were pretty similar. They were all straightforward, mm -hmm. especially with the family side of it, because that's what I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. You know, we're all on the dating show. I want to get married. That's what I want. So, and all three of them kind of had the similar answers, but, you know, I just go back to just the physical attributes and things like that. And I think I just like the other two more. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. And for our two remaining guys, any questions for her? Okay. Right here. Um, where do you currently live? I live in Washington, D.C. So my family is originally from Gabon, Africa. Okay. And, but I was raised in D.C. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, do you have a problem with long distance? I'm in Georgia. Do you have a problem with long distance or anything? No, like that's that? 12 hours away. You're like where in Atlanta? Yeah, something like East Atlanta. Yeah, yeah it's mm -hmm. 12, 13 hours. It's not bad. I've driven that before. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Damn, she's willing to do the drive for you, mm -hmm. homie. All right. Any questions here? What... What qualities are you attracted to in a husband? I'm attracted to stability. I am attracted to a man that is calm. And I'm attracted to a man who is able to make decisions based on logic and emotion. Because I believe that with just life in general, everyone can think and have logic, but we also have emotions in general. And, you know, this is not a business. This is a dating show. So... I'm here based on emotions, so I want a man who's able to do both. 
Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, do you feel like when in arguments with any past partner, do you are you the type to lash out in the moment or do you like process, go take a five minute break, come back and then, you know, really share, okay, here's why I'm feeling this way. I like to take time to myself. So it's not like I'm giving you like a silent treatment. Mm. As you'll get to know me, you'll realize that I just like to take time to myself to think about the situation so that we can come back and have some type of solution to the issue. I don't like to argue. Um, I'm solution based. Honestly, if you were to talk to my family, they will tell you I don't do the arguments and things like that. It's if there's a problem, we need to find a solution so we can move forward to something better. All right. Thank and you. you said where Thank you, man. in um, Africa is your family from? Gabon. Okay. Yeah. I'm East African. My father's East from African. Sudan. Yeah, I'm first Sudan? generation. Okay. That's why I got a big forehead. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yeah, I got no more questions. All right. All right. So it is time to pop. Uh, these oh two guys, they both had really great responses, great questions. Before I pop, can, can I ask a question? Yes, go ahead. One question. Okay. What song describes your dating life currently? Like the, your, your song that you like that describes your dating life currently. <laughs> That's a hard one. <laughs> okay. I'm into music. I feel like music is say universal. Some Rod Wave, some, some, any Rod Wave song right now. So something depressing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm so out of touch. I have. I don't even think I've ever heard a, a Rod Wave song if I'm keeping it 100 with y'all. Like, put me, y'all put me on. What song should I listen to from Rod Wave, if any? <laughs> so something like that. I can't name a specific song, but probably some Rod Wave right now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and how long have you been single? Uh, for like... A uh, year and a half so, so far now. Okay. Mm-hmm. And what about you? Moving over here. Uh, so I'm a musician. I'm not going to name any of my songs, but I will probably say Usher's You Got It Bad. Um, one, because I felt like low-key, he spent bars on there. He said, you got it bad. When you miss a day without your friend, your whole life's off track. He didn't say without your partner, without your, your shorty. He said without your friend, which establishes that we got to have that friendship first. Yeah. Right. You know I mean? If right. that's not the foundation, right. I don't want it. Okay. Respectfully. Right. Um, I'll probably, I'll probably go with that. All right. You can't go wrong with Usher. Yeah. Did you watch him at the Super Bowl? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> okay. He bodied it. He yeah, killed it. Yeah, it was you know lit. I mean? It was lit. He killed it. Yeah. He did his thing. Okay. Absolutely. Well, I have one more question okay. for, for both Hello. guys. Um, so what do you do for work and how do you balance that with fun? Uh, so I'm a medical technician in dermatology as well as a full-time musician. Uh, I rap specifically, but I do talk about mental health, love, faith, very, me and God like this. Um, how do I balance that? I'm not gonna lie, I'm still learning that. Like I said, I, I do work a lot. I do not only just my nine to five, but I do travel for music and whatnot. But I'm very intentional about the time I give to anybody. So I'll make the time. I don't find the time. Okay. All right. Um, Well, like I said earlier, I work in public health, and I do backup dancing too. But, you know, I make time. Backup dancing. So I want people to be able to make, you know, reciprocate the same thing. Absolutely. How long you been dancing? Forever. Okay. Since I was like eight. Okay. (laughs) Yeah. All right. Let's ask him back over here. So what is backup dancing? Let me know. Like I'm, I'm gonna Google that after this. But is it? It ain't stripping. I don't. I doubt it's stripping. Uh, I'm a, I'm a deputy sheriff. Okay. So I mean, I, I, I make time. I have like I work two hours shift, so I get a lot of days off. So you see, I'm here now. I can make time for anything, anything I have intentions to. So I, I get a lot of days off, and I spend time with friends or whatever, or who I want to spend it to. So I get a lot of days. So I, I make. Okay. If I can make time, I can always make time. If I can make time, I can always make time. If I can make time, I can always make time. What? But like, yeah. Especially if I'm very intentional also. If I can make time, I can always make time. That's how you know he's falling over his words. Like, what? Slow down. Can I ask one more? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it is time to pop the balloon. Okay. Oh, my gosh. I actually don't know who she if if a match was made so th- this is this is this is where i kind of realized i wasn't recording last time i would, thought i was recording this <laughs> whenever you're ready go ahead and pop that balloon okay so why did you have your balloon unpopped for her uh I, she's gorgeous 
Um, I love your fit. You know what I mean. I love the accessories that you have with, with it. I Thank thought you. you gave very amazing yeah. answers. Uh, very much in line with what I want in a future partner. Okay. And why did we end up popping his? It didn't seem stable enough for me. Mm. I would feel like I would have to continuously reach for him to have time for me. Okay. Well, like I said, I make time for what I want. You know what I mean? I'm very intentional. I don't just give my time out to just anybody, but you can ask my friends, family, like if, if I want to make time for you, I will. And I do. Thank you, sir. But it's over. You know, I understand. Thank you. Okay. It's a wrap, sir. Bring Thank you on you. up here. Come on up with us. Come on. All right, up. here we go. Moment <laughs> of truth. All right, guys. So we had a lot of questions asked already, so I'm not gonna ask no final questions. <laughs> We're getting straight to the yes, nitty gritty. Please. So is it a yes for you for him? Yes, it Absolutely. is. Okay, and is it a yes for you for him? Yes, it's a yes. We got All right. a match. There we go. <laughs> I know Hobie is happy right now. <laughs> That's what's up. And if you are happy with the content, go ahead and comment, subscribe, like the video, and always remember, our level is God level, y'all level is our level, get on our level, you God level. We out.